Welcome to Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much for your great support that you always provide to this channel. I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. Consider to subscribe to this channel if you've never subscribed it before. Consider to like this video. Consider to share this video and also drop your opinion at the comment section below after you've watched the video ladies and gentlemen it is very true that speaker wetangula should be very very worried of his deputy gladys boss Shole. she is extremely and ambitious on what she want and she will bring down at the first opportunity that speaker Wetangula is it is as at now the reasons why I begin with this is just one day we saw Kimani Chungwa making attack on the CS Ababunamwa. So in this analysis, I want us to bring us our mind back to the drawing board. That what was the aim of Kimani Chungwa to attack Ababu Namwamba? And this is reflecting on what Ruto is doing as we call or as we say Ruto impending move to fire Ababu Namwamba. Here is the video on how Kimani Chungwa was speaking in the parliament. Core business is managing our sportsmen and women and more so those who are able differently these are the people who we should support more so that even as we speak about giving opportunities to people who live with disability or are able differently than us it doesn't become just a matter of talking but we are showing those others who have talents and skills in other areas that they are recognized they are appreciated and they are valued by their own country Therefore, let me, on behalf of the government of Kenya, take this opportunity to profoundly apologize to these great sportsmen and women of our country. But even as I apologize on behalf of the government and the people of Kenya, the Minister, Honorable Speaker, must appear before this House and I will cause his appearance specifically to tell this House and to tell the people of Kenya why he lacks the time to attend to people who are representing our country and are good ambassadors of our country, Honorable Speaker. Because that is the biggest responsibility, Honorable Speaker, as you were saying yesterday. Members of Parliament, as the people's representatives, must hold ministers to account. You are not made a minister in this country to fly flags in the streets and push and bulldoze your way through traffic with Subaru escorts. You are made a minister to serve the people. And if you are made the minister of sports, you must serve sports and sportsmen and women of our country. The best ambassadors who represent us. Honorable Speaker, you can imagine the, the great feeling that we all feel when these athletes are competing out there and they are winning medals for us. We all come together as Kenyans. And the highest representation we should see in those studies, our ministers not carrying joy riders on trips abroad <laughs> to accompany them to trips abroad and doing nothing. We must see them here receiving our number one ambassadors around the world. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, on behalf of not just this honorable members, the people of Kenya and the government of the Republic of Kenya, I must profoundly apologize to these great men and women 
who have ably represented our country, but also promise them we shall take the minister to account for his time in office and he must appear before this House Honorable Speaker to tell us why he could not afford time, not just for these athletes, but even for others, Honorable Speaker. Allow me, Honorable Speaker, because I heard the President the other day saying there are people serving in government who he knows more about their ministries, departments, and agencies in their ministries more than they do. Let them know notice has been served by than, none other than the President, and we shall pick the queue from there, and it shall not be pleasant. I don't want to talk much on that video, but the reasons why I begin by mentioning Gladys Bostoli, that is the move, what will now happen. It is very clear that these people want to fire this young man from Western. And uh, very unfortunate, we are seeing the movement of Kenya Kwanza on how they run the administration. There is something that I used to tell you guys, that in politics there must be a secret game behind. When you see somebody have been given a seat, he or she must have a deal with the president. But very sad, we are seeing now the OLCS who have interaction with several dignitaries across the world. They want to dethrone him in order to put someone on their own interest. Kimani Chungwa does not understand the real game of Ruto. And uh, not that I'm tribalist, it seems Kalenjins, they are best in athletes. So this might be a game that Kimani Chungwa, the mouthpiece in Kenya Kwanza government, won't understand. As I think that Ruto will create office for the Kikuyus on that post, he should forget about. The truth and the fact of this matter is just to create attack. And the plan has been sorted out. They want to replace it with their own son from Rift Valley. This has also been seconded or supported by Robert Alai. Tweet that is said, these people want to dethrone Ababu Namwamba in order to have their own interest son on that post. Then let's look at the key point, what can drive this issue to rise up in Kenya Kwanza government. But before I do that, if this might be your first time you are watching me at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, I request you to take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe. In that next time when I upload to you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. It is all about political game plan. I don't think this is a major deal. Because CS Ababu will not be the first CS to be dethroned. So many people have been dethroned from the seat. From that video, we are seeing Kimani Chungwa making attack. And his interest is well followed. And he is trying to be good enough to rectify Ababu Namwamba on how he should run his administration. But that is not the end. The true picture on that video is well narrated by the so-called deep state system and the mouthpiece Kimani Chungwa knows that very well. It seems Ababu Namwamba is either not fulfilling what the government want in secret or 
the way I have just narrated it, very clear that they want to have their son on their own interest on that post. So ladies and gentlemen, it is very unfortunate we are seeing such kind of a move. Then I came to ask myself, or in yesterday's video, for how long will Kenyans wait for the promises? And yet the battle of powers have begun in Kenya Kwanza. And yet there is no room for Mamambogas. We are seeing the top dignitaries are the one now fighting for their, themselves. Ruto should come down and that is why I say this will knock you my brother. You have to understand the current situation and talk to your CS. Talk to the people who voted for you. Because how you are now seeing your cabinet secretary are moving, then if it is you who influence them, then it will be so sad to seeing you not reaching the votes you got in 2022 general August election. How will Western people also react, assume Ababu Namwamba to be fired from that post? How will Vetangula react? In fact, making attack while speaker is coming from Western. The CS, the same CS is also coming from Western. So this issue of creating, I want problem always. I don't want peace. Kenya Kwanza should stop that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I had. As I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. Bye bye till we hope to meet on another video.